going to deep dive into uh, the past, present, and future of explainable AI, which is a very appropriate topic given our current times. Uh, equipping practitioners with scalable tools that allow them to navigate the models learn distribution is really exciting because um, relating this to real world use cases, the most difficult thing right now is where do we spend human time? So we know we wanna audit models, but how do we equip humans to spend their time wisely and focus on high priority annotations. Um, and this is becoming an ever more uh, urgent challenge because of the scale of our data sets, which are uh, ballooning. For example, in finance, uh, we often want to calibrate things. So let's say uh, you want to calibrate a multi-agent simulator uh, that, will, that would generate a realistic mid price return time series to better understand market impact or better understand agents' uh, intent or, or behavior. Then uh, the question is, uh, how do you make sure that the data uh, which is uh, generated is generated in an interpretable way, uh, such that uh, you can ensure, uh, uh, you can make sure that uh, regulation uh, is, is, is met. One recent change and the trend that that will go on is that in addition to test accuracy, in addition to comparing with humans, people will, will incorporate interpretability more and more as just one metric of, of judging your, your trained model or your trained algorithm? The, 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 there are three areas of uh, um, XAI that I am particularly interested in um, uh, around you know, monitoring deployed models and improving them. So one is mm -hmm. uh, detection of errors. The second is understanding of the errors. And the third is correction of errors. So you know, uh, much of the literature is actually in the second part. Um, of um, understanding the behavior of the model, but I see it as a uh, as a full end-to-end, uh, -end, uh, uh, re really the, the equivalent of uh, software testing for machine learning is, is, is how I view XAI as. How do you detect errors? How do you understand why those errors happened and how do you correct them? But one of the things that is missing in uh, uh, XAI um, or, or explaining models in you know, natural language processing or computer vision and those sorts of things uh, compared to what I've seen in finance is the lack of well-defined factors on which you want to um, uh, benchmark your model's performance on. And it's interesting because I, I believe this round of questioning started by mentioning uh, perhaps the snafus. <laughs> um, and I think snafus are actually uh, an important part of uh, it, it suggests feedback loops are starting to happen more frequently, where people are able to see algorithm behavior, map it against their own experience, and articulate, this isn't what I expected, this doesn't seem reasonable. And a good interpretability tool should make uh, snafus uh, less likely uh, down the line when it's too late to correct. It should allow people along the way to have the same degree of intuition to be able to audit. Uh, and that, I believe, has to be centered on so showing subsets of the data that are most relevant for that user. People want to be more involved. So when we talk with doctors, before we would show them the heat map and they would say, okay, that makes sense. But right now, they want to kind of interact with the system and be able to ask for their interpretability. So one recent good example is Beam Kim's TCAP work, for, where you actually give the user the capability to, to take care of the interpretability themselves and kind of debug the model and find the model's mistakes. So I think these two aspects, so providing explanations that make more sense and are more human understandable. And secondly, kind of moving away from this rigid notion that we have to have one definition of explainability, that everyone should follow that and giving people who are gonna actually use the system more power to interact with it and interpret it. I think these are the needs that are happening right now going from explanations to actionable insights you know that, that's something i i mentioned already so uh you know you have the heat maps or uh, th those sorts of visualizations that that are very useful but how do you map it to a quantifiable um outcome you know I, it could be a business outcome or, or simply improve the accuracy of the model and that's exactly where interpretable we can do its best we can literally learn from our models if we can interpret them. But the problem has been very difficult. And, uh, I think in finance can help at multiple technical levels, you know, so uh, multiple uh, domain levels. 
and uh, to, to achieve uh, also stakeholders, uh, multiple stakeholders goals. So in terms of, of technical domain uh, levels, you know, uh, it can be applied to, to really applied AI where uh, you want to, to design products in like across basically all line of business, investments, retail, uh, private banking. 